Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by University Kia, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Huntsville Hospital, Redstone Federal Credit Union, Fellowship of Faith Church, and X Golf. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the 2019 edition of the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie, voice of the Bulldogs. Let's get right to it. The Bulldogs are 2-1 and one on the season. Congratulations, Coach Maynard, defeating the University of North Alabama 28-24 to last night. Coach, after coming from the Black College Football Hall of Fame, a first home game, you're 2-1 on the season. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. Um, you know, we're taking one at a time, and uh, we was 500, so we need to get back above 500. And that uh, was a big game, a road game, hostile environment uh, against a good football program in UNA. And uh, we went on, on the road and took care of business. Our first win there against these guys since 1988. I was playing football in 1988 <laughs> today. <laughs> Coach, it looked like most of your staff might have been playing last night. It seems like it took everything that the Bulldogs had to come back from an 18 nothing deficit. Well, that's what happens when you get down 18 points. When you get down 18 points, you got to play perfect football. You know, defensively, you got to play perfect football. You can't give up anything else. Offensively, you got to play perfect football. You can't be punting the ball. You can't make mistakes. You got to execute drives, get first downs, and turn them into touchdowns. So um, you put yourself behind the eight ball, and we did that. But we understood that we could come back, and we had to play perfect football from there on, and we did. Some people might call this the roller coaster, Coach, a win, a loss, then a win again. What did you learn about your team in these three games? Well, we didn't play very well the first two games, and we wound up getting a win out of it. We was one play away from being 0-2, mm. you know. And so we knew we had to make some adjustments and, and play a little bit harder. And uh, that's what we was able to do this game, you know, uh, defensively. Uh, we gave a couple of big plays, but once we did, we was able to bend our neck, blow our necks back and hold them to field goal attempts and keep the, keep the offense in the game. And uh, offensively, uh, we got the running game going. Everybody wanted to get the running game going, rush for over 250 yards. Uh, we threw for 189, almost 200 yards. So uh, we was balanced, and you got to be balanced. Once you're balanced, that's the key uh, to uh, being successful on the offense side of the ball, and we was able to be balanced. Uh, especially the second half and, and put up 31 points. And we will take a look at those first half highlights when we come back for the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 989. WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Thank you for joining us on the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Maynard. Coach, we start the first half of the ball game. It's a humid day. You were hoping, I'm sure, that your student athletes were well hydrated. And at the same time, you, as you mentioned, a hostile environment. 
everything seemed to be in place for us not to keep our mind on the football game. Well, we was, we was actually focused because of the road game. You know, we travel together, spend the night together. We go with football, we watch football, get up the next day, do a walkthrough. So we, we like road games. We kind of keep us focused even though it's a lot of distractions around. Mm. Uh, but, uh, you know, we practice early in the morning. And so it don't get over 75 degrees. And then we got to go play in 90 degree weather in mm -hmm. hot, humid weather. So uh, we, we worry about those issues of cramping up and, uh, and, and not being able to finish games uh, in humid environments like that. Mm. And of course, then your planning of who's going to substitute comes into play in that. Yeah, well, you know, we tell the guys all the time, the backups are one play away. And uh, we want everybody to prepare. Like they, they're going to be the starters this week. And, uh, you know, we got to get those subs in there. And that's part of uh, building a, a program is, is getting depth. The seniors that you have on the team, Coach, are mostly on the offensive line. So for the younger student athletes that you have in the program, what was this game like for them? Oh, it was great. It was a great learning experience. You know, of course, we got the seniors. I see we're about to kick off here. But, uh, yeah, we, we senior heavy on the offensive line. But we got some guys in here that's back up that's all freshmen. And we got to go out on the road and get a couple of the guys, maybe get a transfer or, or a JUCO in here next year that give us a little bit of um, uh, age in that offensive line. And then, of course, UNA runs a reverse or fake a reverse on the opening kick. And we still stop them. You know, stop them at the 22-yard line. That's great coverage when you can stop them at the 22-yard line, make them have to go uh, 78 yards to score a touchdown. And then the, you can see right there they ran inside zone twice, and uh, we got them in third down here. Just explain the inside zone, Coach. Uh, it's inside zone, just inside handoff zone block it, you know. And uh, they threw a long pass right here. I think we got a little bit of a push off by them, but it didn't get the call, so we got to keep playing. Uh, they tried to slug or double move was there and didn't really get open. And then, of course, they ran outside zone right there for a touchdown. Uh, we didn't keep our contain. And anytime you don't do that, you're going to have big plays. And, and here you go, we're down seven zip, and now they're kicking off, and here's OJ uh, returning it back. And, we got to the 23, 24-yard line, so it's not a bad return there. And I handed off to Bentley here, and he's a workhorse, man, and he started early and uh, three and out here. So we punting. That's a good punt there by Spencer, got the roll. So that, that pin him back there. We, we're, not, we're in good shape right here. We love to see the long snapper go down and down the ball. Number 56, Abram Jones, just doing that, Coach. UNA up on you. You've got some opportunities in front of you. But as you always say, you leave points on the board. Yeah, you know, uh, that first half, we kind of struggled a little bit early. But then we got it moving a little bit in the second quarter. And uh, then we would have one person. You know, we always say we need all 11 on offense. Mm -hmm. And we have one person that would then do something, mess up the play, and kill the drive. So we just had to go back and refocus and say, listen, man, everybody got to concentrate. Everybody got to do your job. Everybody depend on you to do your job. We need all 11. And the guys bought in and everybody started executing the way they were supposed to execute doing their job. And, and we was able to sustain drives and then get touchdowns out of it. I thought to come out of deep in our end with a punt like this and leave UNA, it's still a short field. We kind of halfway flipped the field here, but their defense is put in another position to try to save the day. Yeah, you know, that was a good punt. He got a good return about 10 yards and got it back to midfield. So we're not in bad shape there. And uh, right here, uh, Mike Mills make break up the play and uh, almost had an interception there, which would have been a huge play. Um, and then we got a tip ball right there on the RPO. And then UNA kicks a field goal right. and pushes the score to 9 nothing. And so that's a big drive, a big stand by, the, by our guys to only hold them to a field goal. And now we got Gary Kors in the game for uh, Bentley, trying to keep those guys fresh. And besides See, being right there, fresh, he's just stumbling a little bit. He's just a little bit too excited. <laughs> and so I told him, look, man, you got to calm down, relax. And, How do you uh, see that from the field, coach? Well, I mean, I've been doing this a long time, Ted. I played the game, you know. And so, you know, he got, you got to be calm, cool, get the ball, then explode. And he's trying to explode before he get the ball. You know, he's just excited and he just, he's trying too hard, you know. So he had to settle the guys down. You know? In the booth, we said it felt like the team was like running in mud in the first half because we were like a half step faster in the second half. Yeah, yeah, we played a lot harder in the second half. Uh, there's another sack by the defensive line. Offensively, it did. Uh, defensively, they played pretty hard. Uh, we had we had them to another field goal. It's 12 to zip right now. It's a big play by Kelly here. And we got the ball back, backed up, and handed it to the workhorse, Bentley. And he's getting out, get us out the hole here a little bit. And uh, we just decided to pound him right here. Uh, we went with pro. 
tight end and a fullback. Here's a little swing pass to Bentley. You just can't. It's hard to tackle him one on one. He'll definitely get yards after contact. Oh yeah, he's a big, big tough guy. And here's a pat down field pass to Abdul uh, that he caught, and we got first and goal at the five or six yard line. You didn't have With a, a boot receiver rate. that had more than 50 yards yesterday, Coach. Yeah, but, you know, we sprayed the ball around. And, uh, you know, so they can't key on one person. We got guys. And and now you got to kill glass keeping the ball, Yeah, we, this is an option here. He can throw it out there. If the linebacker run out with Bentley, he keeps it. If he don't, he throw the swing. So it was an option then. Uh, we, didn't, we came away with no points there. We went for it on fourth down, and, uh, and we didn't execute it. And so it's 18 to zip, and it's halftime. But we're feeling good about ourselves right now because – uh, the defense is playing great. Uh, we gave him, uh, we fumbled a, uh, a punt. A punt. We muffed a punt and gave him the ball. And then we fumbled a kickoff return and gave him the ball, which they didn't sh we didn't show right there. So that's two sh very short fields that we gave him. And uh, we was able to hold the field goals. And uh, those were big wins and uh, adrenaline shots that the defense can hold those guys to field goal attempts in those situations. And we only three scores down. And we got an offense that can score and strike at any time. So we felt that we started moving that ball as we got inside the uh, uh, in the red zone inside the 10 yard line and didn't get any points out of it. But that told us that we can move the ball mm -hmm. and we could score on these guys. We just got to execute a little bit better at the right times. So at halftime, we just said, defense, you got to keep doing what you're doing. Uh, we're not going to turn the ball over. I told them, you get us one turnover in the second half, we'll win the football game because we're going to take the opening kickoff down and score and get back in this ball game. And uh, we did that and cut it to 11. Uh, and then they kicked the field goal, made it 21. Then we made it 14 and 21, of course. And then we went ahead, uh, 28 to 21. They got a long play, which you'll probably see in the second half. Uh, and our safety uh, pushed them out of bounds inside, of, uh, inside the 10. And we was able to hold them to a field goal again and, and remain uh, with the lead. And so that was a huge play in the football game. And, uh, but everybody believed at halftime we was going to win the game. And, we came out and won the game. And of course, we'll take a look at those great second half highlights when the Bulldogs come back from 18 points down here on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 98.9 WJAV FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals Give it all to me Give my all to you 90.9 FM WJAV For the campus of Alabama A&M University don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie, your host. Coach, we're coming to the second half. We had a menagerie of band participants at halftime. The Marching Maroon and White was on hand. They did a fabulous show. Matter of fact, they were louder than the high school band combined with the UNA band. Could you guys hear that in the locker room? Uh, no, we couldn't hear it in the locker room, Ted. We, we closed up the doors and, and tried to get focused on what we got to do. Uh, but we heard them when we was out there. Um, it was great. They was loud. 
Um, our fans showed up. Our whole side was packed. It was an un unbelievable environment, and the maroon and white was everywhere. And uh, after, we, how, after how bad we played last week at home, mm. for us to have that many fans on the road supporting our team mm. and supporting our program, um, I'm very pleased with, with the show out and the turnout and the support that we had. Most student athletes will say that it does make a difference. They don't know who's in the stands, but they know when they hear the noise that that's important. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's energy. You know, the third downs, you know, we told the crowd to get up, and they got up and, and made some noise for us on the road and made it hard on them to hear and execute. And uh, it's key, man. It's called a 12th man. You know, and we had a 12th man last night on the road at UNA, and uh, they showed up and showed out, man. And, of course, we see the, some of the second-half highlights here. Now it's dark. It started as a day game, if you will, and then turned into a night game. Does that have any effect on student athletes? Not really because of the lights. The lights make it light enough, you know. And uh, here a quick guy has come out. We come out throwing to Xavier Moore and then Abdul. And uh, here's another pass down the sideline to uh, – Great adjustment. Yeah, he, I mean, he got grabbed there. They didn't call it. But you see his shoulder pad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got grabbed right there. And uh, they didn't call it, but we caught the ball. So it is what it is. And now we hit uh, freshman CJ. And um, he's trying to make some moves and jump people. And uh, everybody's excited. He got first and gold at a six. And now we give it to Bentley again, the workhorse. And he does the rest and take it on in. And we're on the board. And uh, that was a great drive coming out. That's what we needed. That was a shot in the arm. Uh, gives us seven, seven points. And... More, more importantly, gives the defense a jolt in the arm and uh, finish. And that's Bentley again. He just walks in, man. We've got a good block there. And, uh, you know, it's a great play called by Coach Taylor. And, of course, now the Bulldogs are on the boards, 21-7. UNA failed on two extra points, trying to chase a point with a two-point conversion. They missed an extra point early on their first touchdown. If you got to chase a point, Coach, when do you start thinking about that? Late. When you think when the, when the possessions get down, Here's the reverse right here to CJ, and uh, that's a good move right there to stay in bounds. And we got we got to get one more block back there, and he can take that on to the house. But it still, is a great call. Uh, we got the momentum here, and, uh, and we throw one out to Howard uh, there, and and we got the, we got a big hammer group in now. We're gonna hammer you a little bit and pound you. So we bring in uh, two fullbacks and two tight ends. A lot of people don't do that anymore. Right. But this is our form of Stanford. We look like Stanford right now. <laughs> the Bulldogs pounding the football. I think this drive took something out of UNA. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. I mean, it, it's 21-14 to 14 now. We came out of the second half and drove the ball right down the, the field both times. And, and right there, I mean, we went in our heavy set and said, like, look, we're about to run it right down your throat. What you going to do? And, uh, and that's what we did. Now it's 21-14. to 14 And uh, we got the ball back. No, this is the same play, replay of the – Touchdown. And we see people just opening up. Look, he, I mean, he just walk in, man. I mean, that's great blocking by the offensive line right there. Great play called by Coach Taylor and great execution. And we're back in the football game. And now we're on defense, and here's a big play uh, right Lopez here. Lopez will give you trouble if you let him leave the pocket, Coach. And he did that almost on every time he threw the football. Yeah, but we was able to uh, stay disciplined. And, and uh, we missed a tackle right there, but we rallied to the ball, man. That's what you got to have right there. Defense rallying to the ball. So we held him, made him punt. We got the ball back. Now we got Gary Kors back in. Uh, you know, Bentley then pounded them, so we're going to bring uh, Flash back in. That's his nickname, Flash. And you see him, though. <laughs> you see him, they got missed and get it on up there. So it's our lightning, fire and ice, you know. Okay, let's get it. Now, Akil Glass carrying the football. He said he had three carries for six yards last night. Well, he just kept on mind us a couple times, you know. You know, all the time I tell him in practice when he run the ball, second and nine. You know, here's Bentley again, the workhorse man, just dragging him in. And, uh, That's some of that weight room right there in the coach. Yep. And here's a good play right here that we like to run. And uh, Bentley takes it in for a touchdown to tie the game up. Um, we got the momentum here. It's, we didn't score all three possessions in the second half, 21 points. And, and eventually the Bulldogs score on all five of the possessions in the second half, except the last one where we'll see the victory formation. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we came out focused, man, when everybody did what they supposed to do. Uh, we didn't have any bust. Look at it, we got two people out in front here. Bentley just get around this guy, and we got a walk-in touchdown. Now, they went low on Chaye right here. So yeah, they got, was a 15-yard yeah, call that with that. yard penalty. penalty coach? 15-yard penalty, he just, he just went low on our, our, on our tackle and uh, almost broke his leg, man. And, uh, you know, you definitely can't do that. And they called it, but at the end of the day, he almost got put out for the season. 
And of course, the Bulldogs now swarming to the football, as you mentioned. UNA had plays that worked in the first half that did not work in the second half. Yeah, I mean, look at the energy. Look at the energy. You know, look at our guys flying around. They pumped up, man. They've been on the field a long time, and but now the, the score is 21-21, and the defense is flying around and making plays. And now we got the ball back again with the game tied up, uh, starting deep in our territory from the five-yard line. And here we go. We out now. Got a little bit of breathing room. And so now we can open up a little bit, but we stick with the running game, uh, which I think was the key. When we was yeah. down 18, we got back by running the ball. You know, and most teams will abandon the run at that point and start throwing the ball out every play, and we didn't do that. We was able to. And here's another reverse, and it's there again. Pretty. Right there, right there, 71, get that block, and we score. You know, so, uh, but it, again, we, we got good field position, and we hit them with another little slick play here a great to play the tight end. And, uh, and Howard was able to finish the play and take it in, man. His second touchdown of the season. Yep, and that was a big one I did. That was the go-ahead touchdown. I feel about to knock him out. Yeah, <laughs> in the game. <laughs> he, he he don't mind. Trust me, he don't mind. They they don't they only they only mind that when they do something bad and you hit them. Hey man, what you doing? <laughs> you know, so yeah, that was a little outside zone fake there to hell thirty-three, while he could sneak by him. And it's always key right there for the quarterback mm -hmm. to keep it in there and ride him. And when he does that, thirty-three thing is outside zone. He comes up and then we sneak behind him. So we, they got it, we held them to a field goal, and we got it back, and it's a big return right here uh, with seven minutes left in the football game. And uh, we're kind of in our four-minute offense right here. Uh, What's the four minutes mean, Coach? You're going to hold the ball for yeah, four Yeah, we're minutes? trying to hold the ball four to five, six minutes here, and uh, we was able to hold it for the whole seven minutes. Uh, they helped us out with a penalty. Um, a, and a huge personal foul penalty, hands to the face. Right. Oh, we, we had to settle for the field goal here. Okay, yeah, we settled for the field goal and, and to go back up seven points. And, uh, and now they had the ball back again, of course. And here come that defense, the last possession. And we got a turnover there. And that's, the, that's your ball game. All we got to do is kneel, kneel it down twice now. And, uh, and we win the football game. So I told the defense at halftime, if they can get us one turnover, one turnover, we was going to win the football game. And they got us one turnover right there. They ended the football game. Bulldogs win it 31, excuse me, to 24. First time the Bulldogs have beaten UNA since 1988. Bulldogs end a UNA nine-game winning streak against the Bulldogs. How does it make you feel, Coach? It feels great. You know, it's a win. Um, at the end of the day for me, um, you know, it gets us to two and one. Um, but to, to break the streak and uh, to show that this program is, is on the up and up and continue to rise and, and winning ball games that we hadn't won in the past, um, mm. You know, and, and that's what we want to do. We, we want to build a program. We want to build a program. We don't have a, a winning season. We want to build a program where we win every year. We expect it to win. We play good football. We had four, four penalties last night for 21 yards. Mm. Uh, so that's showing that we got a disciplined football team, that we play a high-quality level of football here at Alabama A&M. And that's what we want to see when we come back. We'll close the show out and tell you about the Bulldogs' upcoming game against the Sanford Bulldogs in Birmingham, Alabama. We have to say Sanford and Bulldogs so people know who has the football this week, Coach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Bulldogs versus the Bulldogs. And then after that, we'll tell you again about the Bulldogs' next home game, but we'll be on the road for two more weeks. When we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 
94.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight Ninety point nine WJAB from the campus of Alabama A and M University. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A and M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new twenty twenty Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Welcome back to the Alabama A and M football review with head coach Connell Maynor. I'm Ted Dixie, coach. Beating UNA tied up that two-game home-and-home series that we signed. We don't know what future holds in that regard, but we do know the future holds this Saturday. You're trying to go 1-0 and again. The Sanford Bulldogs will be in entertaining the Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University Bulldogs in Birmingham, Alabama, 6 o'clock kickoff time. Coach, how you feel about it? Uh, we got to get ready. You know, we, uh, we look forward to the challenge. Uh, Sanford's a good football program. Uh, has been for a long time, and, uh, you know, um, we learned a lot about our team this week playing Sanford. Uh, we got to go on the road and play those guys. They're well coached. Uh, you know, they don't beat themselves. They play hard. Mm. And uh, we got to match their intensity and continue to play good football. Does it help, Coach, that now this game is in our second home in Birmingham? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, like I say, we, we like road games. We, I think I get <laughs> our, our guys focused a little bit better on road games. And, uh, uh, you know, just by being together for two, two straight days and – and thinking football, having nothing but football, you don't have the, the outside uh, interferences from family, uh, nephews, uncles, girlfriends, washing the car, tickets. You know, you don't have all those distractions, and you get to focus on football. So I like, I like, I like the road games. I think I can get my team a little bit more focused. And of course, Bulldogs will be on the road this Saturday. Kickoff is scheduled for 6 o'clock p.m. The pregame show may be heard on 90.9 FM WJAB starting at 5.30 p.m. You can also shake Coach Maynard's hand Monday nights, 6 o'clock p.m. at X Golf, 2500 Clinton Avenue in Huntsville, Alabama. And of course, Coach, homecoming, October 5th, is our next home game. Hope to see you there. For ticket information, you may go to aamutix.com. Coach, any final word? Oh, yeah. Well, we you know next home game is going to be great. You know, uh, we had a nice crowd last one. Um, we expect to sell out this time for homecoming and get our first home victory. And uh, hopefully we'll be on a four-game winning streak uh, or three-game winning streak, and that'll be the fourth one. But we expect to see a big crowd out. And uh, come on out. We'll see you next week. And we'll hopefully talk about another Bulldog victory right here on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard.